Hey everyone, welcome to our new episode. In this video, we're going to talk about Coxsackie viruses. Coxsackie viruses are part of enterovirus family, which you can find polioviruses and hepatitis A virus. And Coxsackie virus normally lives in the human digestive tract. They are non-enveloped viruses with linear single-stranded RNA. Their infections cause mild flu-like symptoms and go away without treatment. But in some cases, they can lead to more serious infections. And we will talk about it in a minute. They are commonly seen in summer modes. And they are transmitted with fecal oral root. Which means they can spread from person to person, usually on unwashed hands and surfaces contaminated by feces where they can live for several days and all picornaviruses except rhinovirus transmitted fecal oral way and the first and most important thing about coxsackie virus a is hand food and mouth disease which is a condition that can cause fever malaise and a painful red blisters in the throat and on the tongue gums heart palate inside of the cheeks and palms of hands and the soles of the feet and you can see another picture from this slide and maculopapular lesions are visible on the inner surface of the hands and feet and you should know that secondary syphilis and rickettsia can also cause this type of rash and another condition is herpangina herpangina is infections of the throat caused by red ringed blisters and ulcers on the tonsils and soft palate the fleshy back portion of the roof of the mouth so you can see this from this picture back portion of the roof of the mouth is a common place for this type of situation and most cases of herpangin occur in the summer affecting mostly children another condition is acute hemorrhagic conjunctivitis this type of infection affects whites of the eyes usually begins as eye pain followed by red watery eyes with swelling light sensitivity and blurred vision Let's talk about another type of Coxsackie virus, Coxsackie B virus. Again, it's part of picornavirus family and it's transmitted via droplets or the fecal oral route. Again, it's generally causing flu-like symptoms, but in sometimes, in sometimes they can cause Bornholm's disease, which is also known as pleurotinia. And this condition is characterized by extreme sharp pain in the lower chest, often seen in the one side. The pain is worse when you breathe deeply or cough. And x-ray in these patients are generally normal. And it can affect heart. It can cause dilated cardiomyopathy. In dilated cardiomyopathy, heart becomes enlarged and cannot pump blood effectively. One of the most commonly identified infectious cause of viral myocarditis and pericarditis. And myocard and pericard are the layers of the heart. In pericarditis, we can see sharp pain aggravated by inspiration and relieved by sitting and leaning forward. Another condition is in inflammation of the liver. Coxsackie B is associated with hepatitis. Most kids with a simple Coxsackie virus infection recover completely after a few days without needing any medical treatment. And a child who has a fever without any other symptoms should rest and get hydrated. And I have a quick summary. In Coxsackie A, you will see hand, foot, and mouth disease. 
And another condition is acute hemorrhage conjunctivitis and herpangina. In Coxsackie B virus, you can see pleurodynia, unilateral chest pain, dilated cardiomyopathy, pericarditis, and myocarditis, and lastly, inflammation of the liver, hepatitis. And this is the end of the video. If you liked it, please push that like button, subscribe to my channel, and see you on the next video.